So in, for Alex, you'll be using a grade book that we put together to help kind of um, show grades based on progress. Um, there will actually be four components of this grade. The first one will be students and um, showing progress in Alex. Another one will be hours per week. Um, this one is um, difficult because a student can log into Alex and then sit in Alex for an hour and then actually not really do much work. Um, so this is, we're going to put a cap on that. We've asked students to do 50 minutes per day, but the maximum you'll be able to put in is four hours per week. The other thing you'll have here is um, we're going to have a math notebook, and this is where students record um, examples from problem sets that they're working on in Alex. As they pass a problem set, they are going to record that problem set or problem type in their notebook, and then they're going to show it to you. It's out of 20 points, and you can figure out how you want to grade that based on the student's work. And the, and the last piece will be an assessment. At the end of the LP, all students will take an assessment and they will get a grade that I will email to you um, on, on what they got. It's out of 100, so you know, it would be 99 or 88 or whatever. But the way you're going to do this, um, this is what the grade book looks like. You really, the only areas you have to worry about filling in will be in the green boxes. If you try to fill in anywhere else, it will actually tell you you can't. It's a read only, so it's protected. So you don't have to worry about any of the, the formulas going away or losing that. Um, there is the opportunity down here to, if you have more than one student, to actually um, just change the tab to the student's name, and then you'll have all of their uh, grade books in the same Excel sheet. You can make new ones too if you want, and I can show you how to do that. I don't see many. I've only seen one teacher that actually has two students in the class. Okay, so how, what data are you going to use to do the grade book? Um, I have an example here to show you. What you'll probably get from me is a report that will show you this kind of information. It The students all take an initial assessment um, and that's when they first log into the program and they, it will give you an, an, a number and this is um, basically they're at 20, 27% of 100% of the class so they're 100% being at 100% means they've mastered every concept for the class this indicates that they're starting at 27 so that's what their initial uh, progress grade would be so if you got this report in your gradebook, starting proficiency would be 27, and that's what you would put here. Now, what the gradebook does is once you input here, what we're asking is we're asking students to get 75% master, 75% of the class, okay? We don't expect them to get to 100, but we've kind of figured that at 75%, if they master 75% of the class, they'll be competent enough to pass the KC. So, what we're doing is we're basing their proficiency growth on 75% mastery. So what this does, it actually is a number that you can share with your students to tell them that in order to keep with that goal of meeting 75% of the content, they have to grow by 12% this learning period, which their charts and their indicators will tell them that so they can keep tabs on um, the progress that they make. Um, so that's the number you can have that discussion. It, it changes based on what this initial number is. So what we do from that, let me get to my other screen back here. After the student has taken an assessment, it'll actually give them another uh, percentage that shows where they've grown to. So in this case, the student in a month has grown from 27 to 35, which is roughly 8 percent. If we go back to our book, you would put the 35 here, but you can see it's not close, it's not anywhere close to the 12 percent growth that they needed to stay on target for 75 percent. But the grade book will calculate that and give them a weighted total. This grade is weighted at 50 percent. So if they indeed had met the 12, then this would have been 100 percent. They met it by 100 percent and then they would have gotten 50 points here. For each week, depending on the hours, um, I'll actually give you a report. It will tell you how many hours the student spent 
um, in Alex and you can see on this report I'm pretty sure it, it shows you how many hours per week the student did so since this student was over it was 4.6 but notice there's only a max of 4 so if I try and put 4.6 in here it's actually not going to let me put 4.6 uh, so the max they can get is 4 so you would just fill in as the weeks go um, how many hours per week your notebook that's out of 20 you just take their notebook you look at it you see what they you know what they get what they don't get and you're going to add a grade there and then their assessment I will actually email that score to you too which in this case it could have been an 88 percent which would be a B minus so as you can see once you put in all the grades um, it'll automatically calculate what the letter grade is now there are two um, grades here this is a snapshot for the LP so this is what they got in the LP and then what you get is a, a progress grade in each of the um, different uh, grade sections for each LP it will actually roll this grade into this so that will be the grade that you enter into Launchpad um, but what you also need to know is as you enter this number end of LP proficiency from the data report that I'll give you it will automatically filter into this box for the next LP so basically what this is saying okay for this month they started at 35 so that we can track their growth and it also updates here so because the student didn't meet the target here and they got only 66 percent growth it's added on right here so in order for them to get hundred percent growth this is where they need to they need to grow by 13.33 percent and then if, once you put in the number in this box then it'll feed into this box and so on and just to show you how it works let's say the student did grow um, and actually got 48 so you can see he alm uh, almost hit hundred percent I'm going to fill in these just to show you how um, the progress grade so as you can see the progress grade rolls this in already so for the LP he got a B but for the progress grade he still want to be but it's going up a little bit because he did a little bit better and then as you can see here this number rolled down over here so that's the basics of the gradebook um, if you have any questions please let me know and I'll be happy to help you out